What's going on YouTube? Hey, I thought I'd make a quick video since I could not find one video related to a Luma Body Super Duty. This is a 2019 with Fox front shocks, the adjustable remote reservoirs. And so, uh, let me just tell you, I wanted to buy the Carly commuter kit or the backcountry, and I kind of built my own, um, like most dedicated and responsible truck owners. I uh, did my research on these trucks before I bought it. I had an 03 for 15 years that I drove. So let me just tell you, let me get in there so you can see. So they don't mount on the reservoirs just the way the shock mount is. So they come with a separate mount like that for the reservoir. And you can see right on top, I mounted this one. Um, so the adjuster's on the top. And on the other side, the way the wheel well was, I mounted it so it's on the bottom. And according to Fox, it doesn't really matter. So what I did was, when I bought this truck, Typical stock FX4, um, you know, road decent, okay, but the FX4 shocks are crap. They're no longer Ranchos, they're Fox made. So I ripped those off. I put on the Ready Lift two and a half inch uh, leveling kit, and you can see um, it is leveled. But what I did was I ordered the Carly two and a half inch leveling springs, and I think you can see right there the Carly. Um, and there's no adapter. That's the stock uh, Isolator right there, but what I did do is I ended up selling the bushings and the shock extensions And I knew I wanted Fox shocks, so I just want to review these real quick, and I'll tell you that it rides awesome um, It's very sunny here in Arizona right now, so it's about 100 degrees So I apologize if there's any glare What I like about these shocks is I can crank them all the way up to nine the stiffest because I do commute about 50 miles a day uh, round trip and then if I want to soften them up we can go up um, four peaks you know up the trails the mountains here I can drop them down to a soft um, softer ride but anyways I left the ready lift sway bar extensions on and the bump stop extensions you kind of see there and there so I sold the kit to a guy he didn't need those so I sold them the isolators like I said or the uh, bushings and the shock extensions and the brake extensions the other ones this one came with two so i used that one but it came with another brake extension so anyways these shocks are pretty cool so i got these on sale i believe from uh it was cjc off roads um or state street motorsports i can't remember i bought the shocks from one of them and the springs from the other and uh, springs were 300 bucks so not bad at all now the linear rate springs so they're you know they tighten up the more they get compressed they ride great uh, shocks are awesome on the back I just put the smooth body Fox shocks and I'll tell you I got these right here on sale from I believe CJC or stage 3 for $699 so 700 bucks 300 bucks for the springs that's a thousand and I think I paid 300 for the back 1300 bucks it's basically the Carly commuter kit um, and then minus the price you know if you want to do the sway bar extensions, the bump stop extensions. I did do the two degree caster shims also. So anyways, just to let you guys know that these shocks are definitely worth it. Way better than the um, FX4 crappy Ford ones. And springs will go good with them too for 300 bucks, why not? All right, thanks guys for watching. Talk to you later.